Um, we're going to continue with problem 614 from the fundamentals of chapter 6. So we're on the frames and machines section, which will most likely fall into your test if you're getting quizzed or tested in chapter 6. All right? Professors love to trick people. Um, and these, are, these can be tricky, but I want you guys to just understand the fundamentals. All right, because then that can carry you through the other problems. Um, for these problems, like I mentioned in the previous one, they're I'll co they're considered statically indeterminate, right? Because you can't really solve them how I've usually been telling you to solve them. Like, okay, solve for a y, a x, uh, c y, and I don't know, let's say c x, right? Because you're gonna end up getting I don't know, two equations in the, you know, fx, fy, right, two unknowns, um, you can do the moment about, I don't know, a, where you'll, st you'll still end up getting two unknowns, so you can't really solve it this way, okay, so what the frames and machines section tells you, um, or frames, is to break this this diagram into smaller components and analyze each individual piece okay so in this case we're gonna you know they're looking for the forces the vertical and horizontal components at the reaction components at pin C okay so what I want to do is isolate member BC right so we have 400 pounds. We have a 500 pound force here. Then, you know, let's take a wild guess. So again, actually let's draw this. We'll draw it in tension, okay? Two force member, uh, A, B. And luckily for us, they gave us a three four five triangle okay so as you you can recognize one of those just you know that's gonna make your math a lot easier this is three this is three and then let's just say CY and CX remember you're guessing these directions okay you don't know yet um, so from here, so I have three unknowns, right? So one, one quick way to eliminate two unknowns is taking a moment at C. So we take the moment at C, okay? And remember here we have A, B in the X and in the Y, okay? So we have minus, actually, take that back, so we have the 400 pound force All right we're taking a moment at C so 400 times 6 okay plus 500 times 3 all right and then we have again a B so a B X you know its line of action will end up crossing C so it's gonna be you're pulling or pushing on C so you're not making it rotate, okay? So we only care about the Y component, A, B, Y. All right, so that'll be plus A, B, Y. But A, B, Y is gonna be A, B times four over five, okay? Using that special right triangle. That's A, B, Y. Oops, A, B, Y, okay? times the distance of 9. So we're doing the moment. Force times distance. Alright. So the, and the reason I chose it this way, I assume tension, just so you guys can see what's going to happen. When we do this, we're going to isolate AB. Okay. And we're going to end up getting a force of minus 541 point seven pounds okay so that minus is telling me that it's actually not in tension it's in compression 
and you can see if we, if we push down on this member right on BC you push it down we're gonna squish down a B so it should be in compression these are things that as you keep doing these problems you can kind of do a sanity check in the beginning and then determine your assumption you can assume correctly I would say okay so once you so what I like to do when I first start this I like to just say plus okay and then I'm just going to switch this right because when I do the next the next step I want to just have everything in the right direction so this is a B right so three four five so now forces in the X direction if you keep it negative you have to keep everything just how you have it and every time you plug in AB, you're plugging in a negative 541.7. Okay, so forces in the x direction. Uh, we can already see that CX is going to have to be going to the left. Oh shoot! Okay, because AB is going to be going to the right, right? So we need a opposing force to make it in equilibrium. So we're going to have AB times 3 fifths right, pointing in this direction and then minus CX okay. and then that gives us uh, CX is roughly 325 pounds. Okay. And now, so that's that's one of the components they want. That's a horizontal. And now they want Fy. So Fy, right? We're gonna do Cy. Positive Cy minus four hundred. Minus. Well, it's lagging. Minus five hundred. Minus four hundred. Minus five hundred plus the y component of AB. So AB, where the right triangle, it's AB four fifths for the y component. Equals zero. Alright. Plugging in A B into here, we end up getting so it's minus minus so it's minus nine hundred. Bring it to that side it's positive. And then we get 466.6 pounds, right? And we actually get a positive number again. So that means our assumption that CY was pointing upwards is correct, all right? And that's it. So those are your two components. Your professor might want the total reaction, right? So we know that the total reaction is going to be the magnitude of those two. Right, so this is your magnitude, right, and then the direction of C would be determined by the y component of four sixty six point six three twenty five. Okay, so it, this is if your professor wants that. If it doesn't, you're already done. Right? You have your two components. If he wants you to actually draw out the resultant reaction on C, then yeah, take you, your components, square them, add them up, take the square root of that, get your magnitude, right? Then you get the direction of that magnitude, right? So then we know it's pointing to the left and upwards, okay? So we know eventually your reaction might, you know, it'll be pointing somewhere like this with some angle, okay? But yes, so this is what we need, this is what we need, all right? And th they'll get a little more difficult, but we'll keep going through these, and um, I hope you guys follow through and ask questions. Uh, if you haven't yet, you can subscribe, ask me questions down below, and like the video. Thanks, guys.